welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a dark green, forest green type of look. And I really think this is such a nice, deep fall look and I just love it. I also only use one palette to achieve this look. I use the original Jaclyn Hill palette and I think it turned out great. I only used about four shadows from the palette and I think this look is very easy to achieve. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. I am gonna start with my eyes first because I feel like this is gonna be pretty dark. So let's do our eyeballs first. To prime my lids, I'm gonna be using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm probably gonna do about two layers of this because I do have pretty veiny eyes right now. I have been digging into the Grey's Anatomy lately, and I'm on like season nine, I think. It is so good, but you cry a lot. And I will admit, it is one of those shows that I like to watch when I want to cry at something instead of about something. So, just a little suggestion there. If you need something to cry at instead of about, because you're sick of crying about things, then watch Grey's Anatomy. It is addicting though, so be careful. Now that my lids are primed, I'm going to set with a translucent powder, and you can use any kind of translucent and or white powder that you have. I'm just using the one that I set my face with. And I like to do this because I just find it so much easier to blend the colors out if the base is not sticky. But I still do find that the colors come out more vibrant. I just don't want them to be sticky. And this also helps with any creasing. It sets your base just like you want to set your concealer. So for the olive fall look, I am using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I love this palette. I have used it many of times. And I've actually used it to do this look as well. So I am going to be going in with some of these colors here as well as the transition colors. So let's get into it. I'm going to zoom you in. The first color I'm going to go into with my Morphe M511 is this color here. Tap off the excess and then we are going to blend that into the crease and above. Now, if you're a little bit more fair than I am, you could go in with a lighter shade, but I actually really like this shade for a nice transition. I think it is great. And we're just going to build up that color. Now that we have our transition shade down, I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. It's a small blending brush. And I'm gonna go in with this dark green shade right here. I'm gonna tap off the excess. And I am going to very lightly and gently start blending that on the lid and in the crease. And then we're gonna go back in with that first brush and blend. And 
And then back in with that small blender. And we're gonna pack on the color on the lid and then gently drag it up into the crease. And then I'm going to do a clean brush. Put a little of that green on there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer and this Vera Mona brush and I am going to put that on my inner lid. And then with the same brush I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to put that where the glitter glue is. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30 and I'm going to go in with that dark green shade again. And we're going to put that on the outer corner. And we want to blend with the sparkle. Down the inner corner a little. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with that tapered brush with a tiny bit of product. Blend that out. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this dark shade on that same pencil brush, this one right here. And I'm gonna also put that on the outer edge just to deepen that up a little. Just like that. And then I'm going to take that same blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out. And then back in with the pencil brush and the black. And the blender brush with a little bit of green. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in the first brush, grab a little bit of that transition shade, and I'm going to very lightly run over the edges. Okay, I know it looks crazy, but it'll be fine. So again, with that pencil brush and the dark green shade, we're going to deepen that up. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna zoom you out and we're gonna do our face. To prime, I'm gonna be using the Farsali Skin Tune Blur Perfecting Priming Serum. And I'm just gonna put a couple dollops around. 
like this stuff. It's a little, it feels a little like glue while you're rubbing it in. But I do think it does blur. And I like the way my foundation goes on on top of it. So, I've been using it lately and I think it makes my skin look pretty nice. For foundation, I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in Medium Buff. And I'm honestly just gonna... Put some pumps on my face. And I'm just gonna kind of drag it around. And this might be a little dark, it's fine. For my blemishes, I'm gonna be putting on the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout in the shade Light. I'm just gonna gently dab that out. For concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Almond. And I am going to put that in my areas where I want to highlight. And then I'm just going to blend that out. To set the concealer and bake a little bit, I am going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Light. Then with my Morphe E41, I'm going to be taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25. And I use this to give a little color back into my face as well as wipe away the bake. Now I'm going to go in and bronze up my skin. I'm using the Tarte Park Ave Princess Palette. And I'm going to be using this shade right here on my Morphe R2. Now I'm going to take my NARS Eda brush and these two colors here and I'm going to contour with that. Then I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics large shader brush and that color we use to bronze and I am going to contour my nose. Then I just want to blend that in and also give a little bit more light back to my face. So I'm taking my Morphe R10 and these two shades right here. I am going to go a little heavy under the eyes because I'm going to put some pretty dark colors under there. So I'll brush that away later. Okay, I'm gonna go in and do the lower lash line, so let's zoom you in really quick. So to start off the lower lash line, I am gonna be taking a Morphe M322. It's like a larger pencil brush, and I'm gonna take this color right here that we used for our transition, and I am gonna put that under my lower lash line, and I'm gonna smoke it out. I am going to be taking that dark green shade and I'm going to push that up against my lower lash line. All the way from inner to outer. Like that. And then before we blend it out, I am going to be taking this nice green eyeliner in Esmeralda. I think this is really pretty, very green, and I'm just going to put that in my waterline. Beautiful. And then I'm going to take that same pencil brush and that same shade we use as our transition, and I'm going to blend out that dark shade. Nice and smoky. Okay, and then we're gonna get our face brush and just wipe away 
all that extra powder and fall out. Mmm! Really pretty. Okay, so now I am going to go and do my brows and zoom you out and I will be right back. Okay, now that our brows are on, I am loving this look. I think it looks so good. I love the um, green eyeliner as well. I think that's a nice little, little addition. So I'm going to be putting on some blush. I'm going to be using my favorite, the Note Cosmetics Desert Rose Blush. And I'm using my Luxie 504 Large Angle Brush. And I look like... I, look how much I've used. Look how much of this I have used. You can still see the indentation. This is so pigmented. I literally go like this. And that's even too much. I'm going to like super tap off. And look how pigmented. Again. Look at that. And then, I like to blend it out. Now we're going to be doing our highlight. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite highlighters. I just busted it out because I had been using Fuego way too much. And I just love this. So blinding and pretty and then I'm gonna spray my face I'm using the morphe continuous setting mist mmm so good Then I'm going to take the same Amrezy highlighter and I am going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. I am just going to put a little bit of black liner on my tight line. I don't think I'm going to do any liner, so I'm going to use some of my Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara, and I'm going to pop on my House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have my lashes on and I think that this look is going so well. I think that is so pretty. So let's get our lip on so we can show off the final look. For lip liner today, I am using the Kylie Cosmetics Malibu Lip Liner. Then for lip, I'm using the Palladio Casey Holmes Collaboration in Rescue. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Yay! I think it's so pretty. I love it. It's a little bit darker than I envisioned. I envisioned more of like an olive -y look and this is definitely more of like a forest green type of look. But I love it. I think it's so pretty. I love the shimmer on the eye. Again, this Jaclyn Hill palette is amazing. Pick yourself up one. They are so great. They blend really great. And considering how dark the shades were that I blended into my crease and I used that black, I just think that it looks so good and very seamless and blended and I am so happy with it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do upload videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday and I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy byes! Now that my lids are primed I'm gonna just set that with a translucent powder. You can use any kind of
boat. I'm gonna wipe this off. There's a little bit of fallout, but <laughs> hello. And I'm using my Lexi 504 large angle black blush. And I'm. Yes, girl.